What's up everyone, this is Ixarian here with a tutorial on Fast Nightmare Atex in Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Nightmare is the final duelist of the game, and we like to farm him when we're trying to win all of the cards in the game because he drops some pretty unique and valuable magics and traps. For those who are not familiar with what Ateking is, I recommend clicking on the link in the description and that'll explain all about it. For those who are familiar with it, you probably know that the strats for A-Teching Nightmare are a little different than uh, A-Teching people such as Pegasus and Kaiba, because he plays a lot stronger monsters, he keeps them in attack mode, and you don't have to destroy his monsters every turn, because he has no dangerous magics and traps. Uh, now I've seen a lot of different strats for A-Teching Nightmare, and I've tried a few different things, and what I'm going to do here is the strat that i found to work best, assuming that you have a good deck. Uh, so this is just an example of how a good duel will go with this strat. Um, you need to take damage for this. So um, if you draw your magic turn one, that's a good way to take damage. You just set it and get hit. And then from here, you just want to start making big monsters and trying to use as many equips as you can. And anytime you draw a trap, uh, you want to set that as long as it's safe uh, until you've used three traps. So this is going to be a 3-trap ATEC that uses 10 equips, does 1 fusion, 2 effective attacks, and uses the magic, takes damage. And then one thing that is different in this ATEC compared to all the other ones I've seen is that this one ends the duel with 7 cards left, or it can be 4 to 7 cards, and you'll get the ATEC. You don't need to go down to 3 cards or less. And this saves a turn if everything goes well, as it does in this duel. Okay, so I'm setting my traps, and I've already got one effective attack. I'll get the other one as soon as I can. Uh, the monster I have on the field is good enough for now, but eventually I'll make something bigger. I'm gonna make a 3300 twin-headed here, get in my second effective attack, and uh, if he does top deck an ultimate or something, I've got protection with my magic and my trap. So usually, uh, if your deck is good enough to you know, equip 10 times within 33 cards, then it's good enough to beat Nightmare's strongest monsters. You don't really lose to Nightmare much with this strat. So okay, that's the third trap. And now I'm just putting the Twin-Headed in defense mode to bait him into attacking. Two times, and then I don't have to worry about traps anymore. And from here on out, I've already taken damage, I've already got two effectives. All I want to do is just try to get ten equips. Um, and I've already got a fusion, it's pretty easy to get one fusion. The deck that I have here has two Megamorph, three Bright Castle, one Dark Energy, one Beast Fangs, two Dragon Treasure, one Black Pendant, and three Sword of Dark Destruction. So it's a good deck, but I actually would recommend a little better than this if you're going to try this strat, because like I, I have some equips like the Sword of Dark Destruction and Black Pendant that only work on a few monsters, and uh, you won't always get clean draws like this where you can equip everything. Sometimes with the deck that I'm playing with now, I've had to toss equips and then I don't draw uh, 10 usable equips in time and I have to spend an extra turn to win the duel, which is fine. If you have to take an extra turn, then that's just the same number of turns that you would take um, with a typical ATEC. Here you see I'm equipping something on the field because I couldn't equip it on the hand. Um, that's a very useful technique to use here because uh, I, I needed to do that to get to 10 equips. If you have a lot of Skull Knight equips, you want to try to get a Skull Knight on the field early. So you can equip it if you draw Skull Knight only equips. So yeah, I've got seven cards left in the deck, and I'm just going to go ahead and win here. And it's just two clean hits. Nightmare has 27 cards left, which is the magic number to know that enough turns have passed. And there is the A-Tech. Okay, so just a few more things to know about this. Um, you can substitute five fusions for... Uh, five equips. So instead of doing one fusion and ten equips, you can do five fusions and five equips. 
Um, I haven't experimented as much with that strat, um, but the main downside is that in order to make room for the monsters that can consistently fuse, consistently get you five fusions in your first 33 cards, you have to take out some equips. And also the monsters that fuse are things like Thunders, Dragon Zombie, Time Wizard, Little Dragons, and those monsters are not strong enough to beat uh, Nightmares, you know, Ultimate, Gate Guardian, um, by themselves, and so a lot of draws, you just won't be able to make something big. You might take an extra loss or two, you might just take an extra turn trying to beat Blue Eyes Ultimate. Um, it's still a good strat if you don't have enough equips, like if you don't have enough equips you're always going to struggle um, against Ultimate from time to time. But yeah, anytime you can get up to, I would say, like 13 equips and have at least 10 of them be like really good equips, like uh, Bright Castle, Mega Morph, Dark Energy, Beast Fangs, um, then, then you should go with this. It's um, a pretty consistent strat, uh, and like I said, when it goes wrong, you just lose one turn and it, it just goes back to being as good as the alternative strats that I've seen and I've used. So yeah, give it a try and let me know what you think. Uh, you usually do about 50 Nightmare Atex in a 100% run, so if you can do this strat and consistently get uh, sub 4, then you will save a, a decent chunk of time. And that's it. Good luck, everyone. Thanks for watching.